So here's where we left off. The plants are photorespiring because they live in a place where they have to close their stomata. Now why would plants close their stomata? There's another question. Generally, it is because they're trying to save water. Water can evaporate out of these stomata, and so if it is hot or it is dry, the stomata will close to save water for the plant. Because remember, that water is causing turgor pressure, it's keeping the you know cells of the plant in the shape that they should be in, it's supporting the plant, so water is most important. So they close the stomata to save the water. So a few different types of plants, especially those plants that evolved in climates where they would often encounter the problem of photorespiration, they've developed a few different ways around photorespiration. Basically ways to keep CO2 highly concentrated where Rubisco is operating. And so C4 plants are the first type of plant we're going to look at that avoids photorespiration in a special way. And it does this with two different types of cells. It has mesophyll cells, which are on the outside of the plant near where the stomata would be. So the outer edges. And then inside, closer to the vascular tissue where, you know, the carbon, di or sorry, the carbon molecules, so your glucoses and simple sugars, it needs to have the carbon fixing going on near those, you know, the, the creation of sugars going on near the vascular tissue. And so it has the bundle sheath cells as well. So here's what happens. It takes in CO2 and adds it to something called PEP, P-E-P, and it carboxylates it. It fixes the carbon using an enzyme called PEP carboxylase. Notice this is just a carboxylase, not an oxygenase. So all it does is fix CO2. It doesn't matter how scarce the CO2 is. This is happening in the mesophyll cells, and so that will create a four-carbon molecule called oxaloacetate, which will be then converted into a molecule called malate, and malate is also four carbons. That can pass into the bundle sheath cells, give off the CO2, and return to a molecule called pyruvate, which is another three carbon molecule, which can then be converted into PEP. The CO2 goes to the Calvin Benson cycle, so Ultimately, the plant is just really concentrating the CO2 in the bundle sheath cells. Meanwhile, the abundant amounts of oxygen building up could be going on in the mesophyll cells where the light dependent reactions are running. So the parts of photosynthesis that create lots and lots of oxygen are kept separate from the carbon fixing step. In CAM plants, this happens a little bit differently. You take the CO2 in, or the plants take the CO2 in at night. Again, they add it to PEP using PEP carboxylase, make the 4-carbon oxaloacetate. Then that's converted again to malate. They store it as malic acid, which is very, very similar to malate, in the vacuoles. And during the daytime, when they have photosynthesis going on and ATP and NADPH is being generated, then that malic acid can be broken down into carbon dioxide and the three carbon pyruvate. And so basically all day long, the plant can just feed off the carbon that's stored in its vacuole, supplying CO2 as needed, keeping the CO2 concentrations high enough that rubisco functions without its fatal flaw. So, in comparison, both C4 and CAM are fixing CO2, either differences in space or differences in time. So location or time is the difference. But in both, the similarity is you get four carbon molecules, generally malate, 
by PEP carboxylase fixing the carbon. Then that carbon is fed to the Calvin cycle and Rubisco still still has a job only now it can act as a carboxylase not as an oxygenase because the CO2 concentrations are kept high through these different pathways. So that's how the plant gets around photorespiration and I went through it pretty slowly because this is where a lot of the questions came up in years past. Very, very simple. It's just one isolates the CO2 using different types of cells and different tissues of the plant, and one separates it during different times of the day.